present cavity and restricting amplitude by 90 degrees. So therefore, when you adjust the pulse frequency, you're tuning into the dielectric properties of water, amplitude goes down to minimum, and voltage tries to go towards infinity if the electronic components will allow it to occur. Now, the question is, how do you produce electricity? Anybody know? But don't feel bad when I was an electronic engineer. Don't pay attention to the videotape. I, took, uh, I asked him many times, Professor, how in the world do you produce electricity? Well, when you move a magnetic field through a coil of wire, it dislodges the, the electron of the copper atom, the farthest one away, right? And that electron has an electromagnetic field. And as a result of it, the external magnetic field, when it's greater in intensity, then the electron will pluck it out, just like voltage will do so. And as a result, you now have created current flow in one direction. And since the copper atom has a missing electron, it goes to a positive charge to create voltage. <coughs> and as a result of this, you now use the electromagnetic field of the coil to restrict the amps and allow voltage to take over to perform its work to split the water molecule, which is called the electrical polarization process. 